In this video, we'll be taking a look at two MLB games happening on June 30th, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two MLB games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 1 betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Minnesota Twins vs. Cleveland Guardians The Cleveland Guardians will attempt to narrow the gap in the American League Central this afternoon as they finish their five-game series with the Minnesota Twins. Chris Archer will handle the starting pitching responsibilities for Minnesota while the rotation rolls over for Cleveland and they'll go with Shane Bieber. The Cleveland Guardians are 38-34 this season and have lost six of their last eight games. Cleveland has also won two games in this series by scores of 3-2 and 7-6. The Cleveland pitching staff has a 3.88 ERA, a 1.24 WHIP, and a .240 opponent batting average. The Guardians' offense has scored 319 runs with a .248 batting average and a .308 on base percentage this year. Jose Ramirez is batting .297 with 16 home runs and 63 RBI for the Guardians this season. The projected starter for Cleveland is Shane Bieber, who is 3-4 with a 3.07 ER and a 1.16 WHIP over 85 innings pitched this season. The Minnesota Twins are 43-35 this season and have won four of their last six games. Minnesota has won two games so far in this series by scores of 11-1 and 6-0. The Minnesota pitching staff has a 3.7 ERA, a 1.22 WHIP, and a .237 opponent batting average this season. The Twins' offense has scored 353 runs with a .253 batting average and a .324 on-base percentage. Max Kepler is batting .240 with 8 home runs and 35 RBI for the Twins this season. The Minnesota pitching staff has a Chris Archer, who is 2-3 with a 3.14 ERA and a 1.22 WHIP over 57.1 innings pitched this season. I'm going to back the Guardians in this one solely based based on the pitching matchup. Cleveland turns to Shane Bieber, and he's really been finding his groove lately. The 2020 Cy Young winner enters with a 2.87 ER and 1.09 WHIP over five starts in June and has turned in four quality starts. Furthermore, Bieber has held the Twins to a .278 batting average over 115 at-bats in his career. I expect Bieber to limit the Twins throughout this game before turning it over to the eighth-ranked bullpen that Cleveland boasts. The Guardians' bullpen has a 3.35 ER and 1.19 WHIP this year. On the flip side, the Guardians are hitting .256 against Archer and it's worth mentioning that Jose Ramirez is 5-12 with a home run, so the Cleveland Guardians' money line is our full game side pick. Shane Bieber had a bad home start against the Blue Jays on May 7th that has his numbers inflated. Overall, the former Cy Young winner has pitched well, posting a 2.41 ER in his last eight starts, and Cleveland has not allowed more than four runs in any of those eight starts. Chris Archer has posted a 1.57 ER in his last five starts, and the Twins have only allowed more than three runs in one of those starts. I touched on Shane Bieber and how he's trending in the right direction earlier. Now, as for Chris Archer, he's also putting together a quality season. The right-hander has made five starts this month and posted a 1.57 ER and 0.91 WHIP over 23 innings. Additionally, Archer has been a better pitcher on the road this season. He comes in with a 2.76 ER over seven road starts and opponents are hitting just .213 against him. I expect Archer to turn in a nice start this afternoon and limit a middle-of-the-pack offense like the Guardians. Finally, Minnesota has been an under-team all year, coming in with a 37 to 35 to 5 record to the under. Given the strength of the Guardians' bullpen and defense, but also their recent offensive woes, I believe that this one winds up falling short of the total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Atlanta Braves vs. Philadelphia Phillies National League East rivals will close out a key three-game series on Thursday evening when the Atlanta Braves visit the Philadelphia Phillies at Citizens Bank Park. Atlanta will be going for the sweep after winning the first two games of the series, including a 4-1 victory on Wednesday to cash in as a minus-131 favorite. The Braves are in second place at 44-32, while Philadelphia is one spot back at 39-37. These divisional foes opened their 2022 season series 
in late May, splitting four games in Atlanta. On the other side of this matchup is the Phillies, who sit with a 39-37 record overall, and they had won two games in a row before losing the last two games. On Wednesday, the offense only scored one run, and they need to find a way to get the offense going. The Phillies are averaging 4.69 runs per game, which is ninth in baseball. Bryce Harper is out, and that is a big problem for the offense. Kyle Schwarber is going to need to step up even more, and he has hit 22 home runs and driven in 47 RBI. The Philadelphia Phillies have scored 12 runs in their last three games and three or fewer runs in seven of their last 10 games. The Phillies have lost six straight games when scoring three or fewer runs. Bryce Harper leads the Phillies with 77 hits and 48 RBI, while Alec Bohm and Nick Casolanos have combined for 143 hits and 63 RBI. Aaron Nola gets the ball, and he is 4-5 with a 2.980 R and 109 strikeouts this season. Nola is 13-A with a 3.21 one ER and 152 strikeouts in his career against the Braves. The Braves come into this game with a 44-32 record overall and over the last two games they have given up only four runs total. The Braves got off to a slow start to the season, but they have played really well the last two months. The Braves offense is averaging 4.71 runs per game which is eighth in baseball. The Atlanta Braves have scored 12 runs in their last three games and four or more runs in six of their last eight games. The Braves have won five straight games when scoring four or more runs. Dansby Swanson leads the Braves with 84 hits and 43 RBI, while Matt Olson and Austin Riley have combined for 146 hits and 85 RBI. Ian Anderson gets the ball, and he is 6-4 with a 4.60 ER and 65 strikeouts this season. Anderson is 1-0 with a 3.07 ER and 26 strikeouts in his career against the Phillies. The Braves are 11-2 in their last 13 road games and 21-5 in their last 26 overall. The Phillies are 8-3 in their last 11 home games and 18-8 in their last 26 overall. The under is 4-1 in Braves' last 5 overall. The over is 9-4 in Phillies' last 13 home games. The Braves are 4-1 in the last five meetings. Although in the past the Braves have found success against Aaron Nola and the Phillies, his first start against the division rivals this season showed a lot of promise. He was able to find the zone effectively and keep the ball away from the big bats in Atlanta's lineup. Nola will likely give up more than one run over 8.1 innings. He will be able to pitch effectively enough and limit the offense from the Braves. Along with that, even without Bryce Harper, the Phillies lineup is potent enough that they can score some runs on Ian Anderson who has struggled as of late to locate his pitches and is giving up hard contact. The Atlanta Braves are worth a look at plus money given the way they've played all month, but Ian Anderson isn't scaring anybody, especially with his 5.06 ER this month. Aaron Nola has been money all year, and that includes allowing 27 hits and 8 runs in his last 36 innings. The Philadelphia Phillies offense is also due for a breakout performance. The Phillies have played some good baseball this month the first two games of this series aside and Nola will lead a much-needed win here, so the Philadelphia Phillies money line is our full game side pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.